Hello, sir. Son, you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but... but what are you doing here? Well, I'm glad you did. This certainly wasn't how I expected things to turn out. I wasn't ready for brawn, or I might have fared better. Well, I suppose it had its moments. But in the end, I much prefer having opposable thumbs. And now that I'm back, I can get back to work. I need to tell Madison what I've learned. I was right about Braun. The technology he developed is unstable, even dangerous. But it can be adapted for Project Purity. I need to return to Rivet City and talk with Madison. If we can find a Gek, we can make Project Purity work. Yes. With what I've learned, Madison is sure to see that we can finally succeed where we failed so many years ago. I'd like you to come with me. I'd like you to be there when we finally open the floodgates. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. told you it would work, Madison, and now I can prove it. James, you're back. And with good news. I was right about Braun and the Gek. If we can find one, we can adapt it to work with the purifiers. I'd like to believe you, James. I really would. This is all just so... so sudden. Madison, I'm telling you, this is real. I talked to Braun himself. He confirmed it. Don't you see? This is what we've been waiting for. I... I don't know, James. So many years have passed. Is it really still worth trying? How could it not be worth improving the lives of everyone in the Wasteland? What could be a more worthy endeavor? You haven't lost any of your passion, have you, James? It's as important to me as ever, Madison. I know it's important to you, too. Let's finish it together. James, I... We don't have a Gek. I can get a small team together, but we'll need proof that it works before people believe us. I know, I was thinking about that. The lab at the facility had some old pre-war computers that we scavenged. One of them might be useful. From the last reports, there's no power at the facility. Even if one of those computers had a database, we couldn't access it. That's why we're going to head over there right now and get things up and running as best we can. You know, if it were anyone else asking me to do this, I'd have them run right out of Rivet City. And you know I wouldn't be here if I didn't think this would really work. It's time, Madison. Damn you, James. When this is all over, you owe me a drink. I'll get the team together. Thank you, Madison. It's good to be working with you again. Are you all right, Madison? I'm concerned that we're overlooking something, James. I don't want us to be too hasty. 
We haven't forgotten anything. We're on top of the situation. Come on now. We're professionals. Yeah, Bell's gonna have to replace I suppose you're right. Jane back here after all this time. I can't help but be a little concerned. You found him? I can't believe it! You have my thanks. We would be lost without James. So you did. I apologize for entertaining the thought of doubting you. I have faith in your father. With the knowledge he's gained, we stand a better chance than we ever have. Farewell. Did you need something? We need to get back to Project Purity. The computer there is our best chance to locate a Gek. Probably, but we have to try, don't we? It's too important for the people of the Wasteland to let fear stop us now. We need to get moving right away. Are you coming with us? That's my boy. It'll be good to work side by side with you, son. I'm not trying to put you off, but we need to get to Pro... I don't know if I like this. I understand it's important to Dr. Lee, but isn't going to Project Purity dangerous? Yeah. See you. Hey. Did you need something? This is kind of exciting, isn't it? I've always heard Dr. Lee talk about Project Purity, but I never thought I'd be going there. I've been with Dr. Lee for about 10 years now. She needed an assistant, and I needed something to do. It was either this or wind up dead in a ditch someplace, you know? I sure hope so or it's just going to crush Dr. Lee completely. Especially after your father came back and all. So long. I am unsure how useful I will be at this purity project, but I am happy to do whatever I can to help Dr. Lee. I have worked for Dr. Lee for many years. She has been good to me, helped me through some difficult times. I had little purpose in my life before she helped me. So now, I help her in return. I am no scientist, but I am good with machines. If Dr. Lee says it will work, then it will be so. Bye. I'm not trying to put you off, but we need to get to Project Purity. Anything else can wait until later. Oh, great. Listen, I know who you are, okay? Far as I'm concerned, you've got no business being here. So just stay out of my way. Unlike some people around here, I stuck with Dr. Lee through it all. I was the last one to leave when we finally gave up. Now your daddy shows up out of the blue and suddenly I have to drop everything to come back and help pick up the pieces. Sure, sure. No matter that he disappears for almost 20 years, leaving us all hanging, it's not like we have lives or anything. Besides the fact that you shouldn't be here, don't touch anything you're not told to. There's enough to do around here without having to clean up after you. The hell do you care? You showed up here, what, five minutes ago, and now you're strutting around like you own the place? You shouldn't even be here. Why don't you go do whatever it is you're supposed to be doing and leave me alone? Not if you keep asking me stupid questions. Just stay out of my way, okay? Hey there! I hear we have you to thank for getting us up and running again. Who, me? Oh, uh, nothing special. I grew up in Rivet City, and was always interested in what the scientists were doing there. Dr. Lee took me under her wing and taught me everything I know. Dan and I were out in the field when we got the call to come back. I'd steer clear of the water if I were you. It's seeping in from the tidal basin. 
which means it's radioactive. If that's not bad enough, if there are any loose wires as the power comes back on, you might get a bit of a jolt. Know what I mean? I don't see why not. Between Dr. Lee and your dad, we've got the best minds on the job. They can do just about anything. Yeah, I think we'll be up and running in no time. Good luck. Here we are, where it all began. You remember your mother's favorite passage? Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Don't you see? This is what it all means. The water, the purifier. This is the water of life. Your mother's dream. No point in wasting time. Let's get to work. There's much to be done. The project was abandoned shortly after you were born. Things have deteriorated here since then, and there's been some flooding. I need you to get to the flood control pumps and activate them so we can clear out the water and reach the mainframe. The automatic doors sealed when the flooding occurred, so you'll have to use the access tunnels to reach the pumps. Did you need something? What can I do for you? Farewell. Yes, what is it? And I shall follow. Just be careful what you touch in here, okay? The equipment's old enough as it is. You're doing great out there. Keep it up. You're in what used to be the old museum and gift shop. A lot of the project's machinery is down there now. We just refer to it as the museum level. Keep heading down. There's a staircase at the south end of the level you're on. I'll see you when you get back. How are you holding up? Need directions? You're in the security level. It's full of holding tanks for the water, as well as our processing equipment and power systems. The flood control pump is at the south end of this level. Keep up the good work, son. Great work on the pumps. Hurry back, and I'll give you the fuses you need. Everything all right? Come on back up to the main lab. I'll be waiting. I've been hearing good things about you. Is it true? Did you really disarm the bomb and Megaton? I'm very proud of you, even though you put yourself in harm's way. Just please be careful out there. This is a dangerous world, far more dangerous than anyone in that vault knows. Right, the flooding shorted out some of the fuse boxes downstairs, including one that controls some of the automatic doors. Here, take these fuses. The box is back down in the sub-basement near the eastern end of the level. Once the fuses are replaced, you'll be able to get to the mainframe. You need to replace the fuses that shorted out in the flooding. Once they're in, the automatic doors will work and we can reach the mainframe. The vault you grew up in had its own water purification system. Clean water was never a worry. Out here, things are different. Water out here is never clean, and almost always irradiated. It's barely able to sustain any kind of normal life. If we can change that, humanity has a real chance at rebuilding, starting over. In the year before you were born, things became difficult. 
There had always been something of a mutant problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt. And then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I... We lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years. But your mother... I've never lied to you about what happened. Not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. It started as an idea, really. Remember the Bible passage your mother loved so much? Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the Wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on DC's Tidal Basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. What's on your mind? There's so much history here. So much time and energy spent on this place because it could help so many people. And now, after all these years, there's a chance to finish it. To see it through to the end and help all the people of the Capital Wasteland. I wouldn't be here if I didn't. With what I've learned from Dr. Braun, I know it can work. That's why it's so important to find a Gek as soon as possible. It's the key to Project Purity. I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. A plan which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would be. My son, if only you could have known how much it meant to her. She believed in the work we were doing and was so determined to see it through. She gave up so much for this project. We all did, and I don't want that to have been for nothing. So am I, son. While this... What's on your mind? Somehow, I don't think the Overseer would agree with that. What's done is done. But if we succeed, if we can make Project Purity a reality, we can create a new life for ourselves out here. You have to understand, the vault wasn't for me. It was for you, to make sure my son grew up someplace safe, away from all this. I didn't want you to leave. I wanted you to stay there, to grow up and live your life in safety. I hope that you can understand why I've done the things that I've done. The last thing I want is to lose my son. You remember the Bible passage about the waters of life? It's more than just a poster on a wall. Your mother and I, we lived by that ideal. Water, clean and free for everyone in the wasteland. Think about that for a moment. No more radiation sickness, no more mutated crops, no more struggling just to stay alive. Finally, Hope. Isn't it worth taking a risk to give that hope to people? So am I, son. While this isn't what I had in mind, it's good to have you with me. Be careful, my son. The fuse is in place. You should be able to access the mainframe. 
No need to come back to the control room. Just head straight there. How are you holding up? Need directions? You're on the right level. Head to the western end and look for the large automated door. Use the intercom so I can tell you where to go next. There are a few minor repairs still to be made up here in the control room. Why don't you come back here and give me a hand? Actually, wait. There's one other thing I need you to do. Jana says there's a blockage in one of the intake pipes. It's on your way back. Head back up to the museum level and give me a call on the intercom when you get there. Head up to the museum level. Use the door at the north end of the level you're on now. I'll see you when you get back. the authority of the president, this facility is now under United States government control. The person in charge is to step forward immediately and turn over all materials related to this project. That's quite impossible. This is a private project. The Enclave has no authority here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave at once. Am I to assume, sir, that you are in charge? Yes, I'm responsible for this project. Then I repeat, sir, that you are hereby instructed to immediately hand over all materials related to the purifier. I'm sorry, but that's... Furthermore, you are to assist Enclave scientists in assuming control of the administration and operation of this facility at once. Colonel, is it, Colonel? I'm sorry, but the facility is not operational. It never has been. I'm afraid you're wasting your time here. Sir? This is the last time I am going to repeat myself. Stand down at once and turn over control of this facility. Colonel, I assure you that this facility will not function. We have never been able to successfully replicate test results. I suggest you comply immediately, sir, in order to prevent any more incidents. Are we clear? Yes, 
Colonel. I'll do whatever you want. There's no need for more violence. Then you will immediately hand over all materials related to this project, and aid us in making it operational at once. Very well. Give me a few moments to bring the system on. Enough of these delays. Just another minute and I'll be done. Run. Run! James. He's gone. We have to get out of here. They'll be coming for us next. We've got to evacuate now! There's nothing anyone can do for him now. The radiation levels in there are lethal. You'd die the same way he did. We need to get out of here now! We used an old abandoned tunnel as an escape route once before, many years ago. Everyone should know how to find it. We need to get there right now. Let's go!